What's going on? Back here with Ask Luca, and today's Ask Luca is really kind of a rant. Actually, it's not a rant. It's more of something that I've noticed that I wanted to address, right? And it comes in the form of what we see on social media, what we see uh, all around, I would say even like TV, commercials, everything, right? Where, where it's memes and it's like, hey, just do it. So I'm going to tell you why just do it is bullshit. What I mean by that is like, hey, listen, I love Nike and uh, I love the just do it slogan. But if somebody's not succeeding in something, and, and in this sense it's going to be, for instance, training and nutrition, especially nutrition, lifestyle change, and you go like, man, you just got to do it. Okay, the person knows that. It's just like telling me to just clean up my desk, okay? Just do it, Luca. Shit, okay. Well, I've been trying to just do it for two years, but it's, it hasn't been working. Because just do it doesn't work, all right? We all built up habits, okay? Over time, to get to wherever we are. So the habits that we've created have basically got us to where we are today with whatever, with our body, with our finances, with our relationship, whatever it may be, right? To, to break the pattern and say, just do it, is kind of like crazy, right? Because you've instilled this over time and you got to a place where whatever you're doing, right? You, you may be excellent at something or maybe just good enough at something or maybe bad at something else, right? But here's the thing, when you build up patterns and practice of something and you get good enough at it, right? Beyond that, if you just keep doing what you're doing, you will not get better, right? You will not get better because there's three levels. First, think about this. When you learn, there's three levels of stuff. So when I started playing basketball, you know, dribbling and like shooting, like I had to be consciously aware. I mean, I really had to think about like what I was doing all the time. Man, elbow in, extend, follow through. This is the last finger that leaves the hand. Like I had to think about it. if somebody distracted me, Man, it's, it's over. Right? And for a long time, I had to take thousands and thousands of shots before I got a feel for it. Once I got a feel for it, then I could like, start dribbling and you know, taking step backs and shooting. And like, I could do it without less thought. Okay? And then I had to really build on that to be able to do that in a game and with you know, thousands of people in the stands and things like that. So think about that, that every level, right? when we learn something new, it's difficult. We have to be really aware of it. So I'd have you consider that right now, wherever you are with your nutrition and lifestyle habits, just doing it won't work. You have to become consciously aware and have strategic steps to changing where you are. Now, what's going to happen first? At first, you're going to feel like you're taking a step back. And the thing is, you will be taking a step back because right now, you're just doing what you're used to. It's the same thing as going into the gym and just banging out reps versus like really like, for instance, I'll give you a squat, right? I'm just coming into the squat and banging out reps. Or I got my rib cage down, I'm pushing my neck into the bar, I'm ripping, ripping the bar down, getting my lats tight, ripping the floor apart, keeping my spine straight, right? To start getting that really good form down, I have to be conscious about that. And somebody is usually coaching me. Like, hey, do this. Rip the floor apart, right? And then when I get a lot of reps in, it, I start getting the feel for it. And once I get the feel for it, I can, I can think about the next thing to consistently progress. So right now with your nutrition, and, you, and you know, you're telling me like, hey, I know I need to change stuff, and we're looking over like, you know, what your day is like, and I just go like, shit, just do it. Just, just change this stuff up. I'm not really helping, right? Rather than going like, okay, let's see what's going on here. You said that you always wake up late, you don't really like eating breakfast, and then for lunch you eat this. Let's break this down. Let's find, I have a strategic step for you to take and work on from right now and be conscious about it, but just one, right? So that we can start changing this habit. So now it's gonna be like me starting to shoot a basketball, right? At first, it's gonna be uncomfortable. You're gonna have to think about it. Maybe even have a reminder. Be prepared for it. It's gonna be uncomfortable. And then after a while, you're gonna get the feel for it. So maybe now you bring your lunch with you every time and because you bring it with you, you start getting in the groove. It's easier and easier. You get that, guess what? Now we work on the next thing, right? But it's a strategic step based on where you are to help you move forward. Imagine if my coach was like, threw me a ball and I shot it and it clanked and he was just like, man, just do it, right? I'd never hit a basket. Because the thing is, if I practiced missing, I just get really good at missing. So maybe right now what you're doing is you're practicing mediocrity or maybe practicing something that's helping you fail more than it's helping you succeed. 
So you need strategic steps. You need a loop, a conscious loop of awareness, what's going on, what are we going to do next to fix it, and train that, and then move on to the next step. So with that now, you can see like why I kind of get irritated by seeing, you know, uh, and I know it's in, in good, I would say in good spirits where you go like, man, I, I, you can do it, like you can do it, just, just really work hard. And the person is super frustrated because, man, I've tried this and I've tried this and, and I keep trying to take on more, but you're stuck in almost like this karmic loop because you've deliberately, you've practiced something to get to where you are. Now you've got to take a step back, become aware, and deliberately practice in another direction that will make you successful, right? So rather than just doing it, right, stop. Stop and become aware of where you have a bottleneck in anything that you want to change, but specifically now we're talking about, you know, your body composition, your lifestyle changes. But like, see first what's stopping you from getting you where you want to go, and then just take one piece of that, right? And I, I advise you, like, get a coach, get somebody to help you with it. They can give you strategic steps, constant feedback, so that you can keep improving. And guess what? At first, it's not going to feel like you're getting better right away. It's not. You're going to take a step back, so you can take three steps forward. But, the, like, but this is how you change. This is how you become great at things. Because after a while, that's why when you say, like, how can you just go here and just pick these foods and do this and that? Like, it's, it's subconscious now. It's just what you do. But it took some time to get there. And here's the thing is, I believe that it's worth it. Because if you want to change your life, or if you want to build a business or, you know, do well financially and build a great relationship and great family and get your body to be the, exactly the way you want it to be, is it worth the effort? I mean, that's the only, the only person that can answer that is you, right? But just know why just do it is a bullshit term if you're struggling with something, trying to succeed in a certain area of your life. All right, so that was Ask Luca, but I was really kind of ranting, but we won't change it to hashtag rant Luca just because of that one video. All right, see you next time. Peace out.